What's the problem with that nervous guy in the corner over there? Uh, don't pay attention to him. I've been yelling at him to stop being so nervous all the time. But do you think he'll listen to me? <laughs> Maybe the man would be less nervous if you stopped yelling at him. What? You mean he acts like that because of me? Now that is... Hey! You! You'd better act as if I wasn't here! Otherwise, I'll come over there, and then it's ass-whooping time! <laughs> well, at least the uh, staff is sane. Hi there. Tickets, please. Your system is totally illogical. <laughs> the system is as airtight as a submarine. It's always the next person in line who's up. But it's my turn now. In that case, it should be easy to show me your ticket. Is there any way that someone besides the three people you mentioned can use the laundry lift? I mean, what about, say, ticket number four? Don't give me this modern mumbo-jumbo. We use the good old <laughs> traditional numbers here. One, two, and, uh, well... Well, the third one. The one which is neither one nor two. I think we've found a Republican. Hi there. Tickets, please. Do you know how I can get out of here? The exit is situated at the front of the ticket-punching area. No, I mean all the way out. <laughs> yes, I understood that. You use the back door there. The door at the front of the ticket-punching area. But I mean even further out. When you walk through that door, <laughs> you're all the way out. Nothing beyond that door belongs to the laundry lift system. Right. But suppose I want to go even further than that. Uh, ah, I see. You're talking about the cafeteria, right? I give up. <sighs> I think we need Professor Knott, perhaps. I'll be going then. Please keep the ticket control area clear for the others while you're at it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to slow down the mob that's in here. Evidently, you can't even click on it. All right, well, let's uh, get the heck out of Dodge. Work with me, Edna. What the hell? Is there any place that doesn't have urinals in here? This looks like a party. Surprise! Oh, there's Oops. a flashback. Wow. Who are you? I'm Petra! Oh, Give me a you are. Or, uh, you know what? You can keep the pee. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm throwing a surprise party! Where are the other guests? Hello! It's a surprise party! What kind of surprise would it be if everyone knew about it? Well, there you go. You didn't have to do that. The party is not <laughs> for you. Today is the birthday of Peter. Oh, but please don't tell him the party is here. It's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, of course we'll see about is. that. You have to promise you won't tell him. Okay. Promise? All right, I promise. Swear it. I swear. Cross your heart. Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. I swear it, okay? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Interesting choice of venue. What do you mean? Don't you think more people would come if it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? <laughs> I don't know. It is a surprise party after
after all. And what could possibly be more surprising? <laughs> surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. Uh. That's more like it. Oh, yeah? So, where would you have thrown the party? Uh, I was just thinking it would surprise the hell out of me. Where is the TV room? How about the TV room? No! I loathe parties where everyone just hangs around in front of the tube! Of course you do. We have a bar. How about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. I hope the party can cheer him up a little. How about the break room? Huh? No! We never go in there anymore. Three people vanished there once. Okay. They were actors. I think they were auditioning for a play. They were never seen again. I hate it when that happens. How about the recreation room? That was my first thought, too. But King, ah, Adrian King Adrian was opposed. King Adrian? He rules the lounge. He is a wise and just king. And rumor has it that he's psychic. He rarely receives visitors, though, I'm afraid. His right-hand man, Drugglejug, is as tough as he is attractive. Okay, I think Any this room may be would a... have been better. I like it here. Uh, of course you do. Uh, I think this is a dead end for now. I'm sure it's uh, relevant later on. Do you know a way out Never of here? Never hurts to ask. Why would I want to get out of here? There's always no, something fine. going on in here. <laughs> the people are nice. Plus, you don't have to feel embarrassed about anything in here. If you forget to put your pants on, nobody will notice. If you want to get out of here, you'd better talk to Emilio. If you can find him, I believe he's currently working on a tunnel. If you get really desperate, you could talk to the key master. But I'd only do that as a last resort if I were you. That guy is dangerous. His solitary confinement cell is on the second floor, though. Ah. So you'll have to wait until after lunch. We're being escorted to the dorm then, you know. Key master, huh? Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Turn you will. the lights off on your way out. You we'll see. got it. Oh, we'll see, huh? Well, I, I feel comfortable with that. So we have finger food dip. What else? Pet traps? Is that her name? It must be. All right. I don't think it's very appealing to put the finger food right next to the toilets. Yeah, well... Well, we took whatever the hell that was. <laughs> I don't know if I ever looked at these. Mustard. E005, E007, benzoic acid, kerosene. Uh, Warning. Highly inflammable. Only ooh. for use in cattle breeding or the army. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we missed a bit there, Ketchup. didn't we? E001, cadmium, tomato substitute from uranium residues. Keep away from children. Ketchup is not food and should under no circumstances be eaten. <laughs> uh. I found the bean dip in the bathroom. Well ecologically placed. Thank you, Harvey. So we can't take that, huh? I don't want to take it all at once. Well, there you go. Hello, you appetizers. Hey. We heard those quotation marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Touchy food. Damn it, stay up, you shit. What the hell? Why won't the inventory stay open? Hello? Whoa. 
The silent types are the worst. Well, there you go. Uh, I think I've wasted time, though, so uh, let's boogie and see what happens if we don't turn out the light switch, just because I'm that kind of a guy. That's got to be pet traps. Wow. No, no, no. We're, we're good here. Keep on celebrating. Oh, uh, we oh, yeah. We'll see. No, we won't. Do it yourself. Oh! <gasps> Can we come into the foreground? I don't think so. Well, this is pretty scary. Why doesn't that say WC? I mean, the one we were in. Whoa! It's B-Man! And B-Man is briefly at number two. Hey, B-Man! Hello, B-Man. Oh, Hello, room. stranger woman. You can call me Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. Do you know a way out of here? A speedy mental recovery comes to mind. That, of course, almost never happens. Maybe that's because the criteria of mental health are subject to Dr. Marcel's judgment. And, to be honest, who would admit to his own customers that their demand has been fulfilled? That's quite cynical for someone in a bee suit. <laughs> anyway, some of us loonies use the old laundry lift <gasps> system. The unauthorized changing of floors is possible that way. The laundry lift to freedom is yet to be built. Uh, I wonder if we found our person that understands how to use the electroshock room. Why are you locked up here? You seem to be wise and balanced. I have a theory. That would be wise I think up. it has something to do with my clothes. Men in bee suits have a bad reputation. Among who? Where do you think the bad reputation of the bee look stems from? There's no question about that. The media. Men in bee suits are generally represented <gasps> as the laughing true. stock. And the main culprit? Children's animated films. Animation movie authors are basically mounting a campaign against us. The Mexican in The Simpsons, Charlie Brown in Peanuts, or Bumblebee from Transformers. Ouch! Men in bee suits are the clowns of the media. And uh, Saturday Night Live, the old John Belushi skits. Why are you wearing a bee suit? To show solidarity with other men in bee suits. <laughs> to open the world market for the insectoid garment as conceptual performance satire. To boycott the fashion industry. And finally, to express my admiration for those hard working honey collectors. Uh, Admit it. Of course. You lost a wager. I like I that. lost a wager. Whoa! To the heart of the matter. Why do you have okay. such big ears? All the better to eat you with. And as a valve for my exceptionally high output oh. of earwax, I'm afraid. Ouch. Exceptionally high output of oh. earwax? Yuck. Yes, it is no picnic. I don't think it should be used in the same context as picnic at oh. all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. <sighs> I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. Uh, of course you could. So we're talking about needing wax at some point. And wax is used for making molds of keys. Are you drawing anything in particular? I'm still waiting for inspiration. A sip of coffee would surely be of help, but I'm ashamed because of my allergy. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My allergy leads to an overproduction of earwax. Uh, of course it does. Oh. Just in case we missed it. I, and, and why it occurred to me that key molds are made from, well, we've been hitting keys several times in this. And I do like those kinds of shows, so. I'll be going then. Go ahead. Trying to be a little bit quiet. The cat is still tolerating. Wait a minute. 
Master key? Okay, why is there a master key here? <laughs> 